Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm down in my radio room a la garage that was never big enough for a car. <laughs> anyway, I got my new radio that Thomas sent me, and I now have it hooked up to my K-480 WLA loop antenna. And I'm getting WWV very loud and clear. Well, okay, let me correct myself. I'm getting it strong. The audio out of this thing is not that loud. Um, I've got the speaker set at 35. That's the max value. So you will probably have to use earphones or... Uh, an external speaker slash amplifier. Um, signals are pretty clear. It's, um, what time is it? 6.45 in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. And um, I also noticed that I turned my computer on. I got one computer down here that I use, but it's well, I have many down here, but one I use mainly, and it's normally off. So I turned it on so that I could look up frequencies when I saw a signal. Like, here's a big signal right here. Well, <clears throat> as soon as I did that, I got all kinds of noise. And let me, I'll just show you to you right now. Let me turn it on. Oh, here, look at, look at it. Look at all this trash. And I don't even have the monitor on. So I'm going to turn the monitor on. Now I quiet down a little bit now that it's all the way on. We turn the monitor on so I can turn it back off. Watch, watch this down here. <clears throat> Okay, come on, come up. The uh, computer's still booting. Yeah, it's getting into Windows. Stand by. Do da do da. Oh, it's probably doing an update. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't want that. But anyway, um, so that is telling me, at least for this radio, it's pretty susceptible to computer noise, which in my office, which I normally record my videos, I have three or four computers running all the time. I have a router, I have a modem, and we finally got to the screen here. So I'm going to turn this computer off, shut down, watch the screen. Okay, it's going down. Shutting down. There, it's off. You see all those signals disappear? And these are real stations, I believe. Okay, we'll turn the monitor off. Alright, we're going to have to keep that off. So let's try. Uh, that's 5 megahertz. Let's try 10. There's 10 megahertz. Don't hear it, but it's got a strong signal. Actually, it's a little below 10 megahertz. Oh, I don't have the increment. Um, let me do this. Push the buttons. 
Now I'm pushing hold. There, there we go. Okay. That's about 10 megahertz. Let's try 15. I can hear the female voice. There's 15. Pretty good. I apologize because the audio is just not that loud. Now, on FM, the audio is plenty of loud. Um, I'm in AM mode. I got the AGC off. I've got the IF gain 10. I could increase that, but it's a pretty strong looking signal. Goes up to about 70. Yeah. So let's um, let's change that increment on the frequency. Oh, I just saved the channel. Now, one thing, and I don't know if I mentioned it last time or not, when it saves, I can't get it to save where I want it to. Like, I wanted to start putting like 5, 10, 15 megahertz in memory channel 1, 2, and 3. I can't figure out how to do that. And I've asked Fred in the shed, I'm waiting for his response. Um, it, when you do, when it does a save of memory, it just picks the next one. So I've got a whole bunch of junk down that it came with in the lower memory channels. Let me show you. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go back to channel mode. There, I'm in channel mode. When it turns red, it's in that mode. See all this junk? for the life of me can't figure out how to get it to store in a memory location I want should be able to do that I haven't figured it out okay let's go back up to the let's see what's in the last one I think I just stored oh it won't go it won't wrap around I can't go from one to the last one like 30 something I have to go all the way up this way. Okay, there we are. See, those are all blank. There's the one I stored. Now let's try the IF gain. See if we can get more volume by doing that. Okay, so I push, push. It's on speaker, on earphone, on AM, on... Whoops, I went too far. I got to remember that, <clears throat> and I don't understand this, it pushing goes from speaker, earphone, AM, in and up to channel, in and up to frequency. So you have to stop when you get to um, mode, AM in this case. Okay, I'm there. Now I have to push and hold to get to these other ones. I don't know why. Okay. AGC. Oops. I changed the AC, AGC. Okay. Push and hold. There we go. One more. Nope. Nope. I didn't make it. Now I don't know where I'm at. I'm back on the earphone. I can't turn it enough while pushing in to get it over here. I can say, you won't have to change these very often, so not a big deal. Okay, speaker, ear, AM. Now I'm going to get my finger down as low as possible. One more. Ah, I made it. Okay, now we can change the IF gain. Yeah, we get more volume that way. Get more noise. Let me turn it down. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it at 20. Okay, now we can just push. And we're back to AM. We'll push memory frequency. Let's tune this back down. And we'll listen. Okay, I didn't hear a female voice. I get my camera pointed a little more at the radio. So now I can go to like 9 megahertz. Actually, 9330 megahertz. Yeah. Okay, now. I think I got the IF gain too high. Let me adjust the uh, antenna amplifier. There we go. So I adjusted the antenna amplifier gain. Coming in very clear. This is, I believe, out of Tennessee. Very good display here. Also, something I didn't mention before. Now, see, I have to go push to get to the speaker to turn the volume down. <laughs> That's a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, one thing I didn't mention up here is the voltage le level of the built-in battery. Battery seems to last a long time. I've been playing with this for about a total of 10 hours, and it, the battery's still pretty high. But that's kind of an indication of how much better shortwave can get using an external antenna and some of the shortcomings of this radio. Now this is supposedly a knockoff of the, I think it's Malahi, which sells for $250, but the Malahi has some of the things that are missing. Like the Malahi, you can touch the screen and have it tuned. And Malahi's, I think, selecting these options is much easier. I still haven't heard back from, like, Fred in the Shed, for instance, whether there's any ATS or search function. There doesn't appear to be. I don't know if the Malahi has that. But overall, it's a nice little radio. The Now, I'll do one more thing before I close. I'm going to go back to the antenna that it comes with which is about 30 inches long. So look at the signal here. It says it's about 74. Okay, I'm going to unplug this. Unscrew this. Okay. Now I'm going to plug in this guy. And let's see how well it does using this telescopic antenna on shortwave. Okay, now I'm going to extend it. Uh, still don't have it fully extended. There's fully extended. And you can see, let me turn the volume back up. Signal is way too weak. I'll quickly go back. Now I could change the eye of gain. Nope, we got speaker off. Okay, that's far enough. <laughs> okay, let me unscrew this. But, but this is typical of shortwave listening. You really need an external antenna, even if it's only a 25-foot wire antenna. So I'm going to 
hook the loop antenna back up. There we go. What a difference. So like most radios, it needs an external antenna for shortwave listening. And I, that volume is fine. And I still got a couple more to go. That's, that's more than loud enough. Okay, that's it. I want to thank Thomas once again for sending me this. I really appreciate, appreciate it, Thomas, so that I could show it to you. And I want you to have a great day. Bye-bye.